Hello. So this year I manifested um, a business that was my dream business. Uh, get emotional. And was yoo-hoo and loved the process and, and loved doing it. But I also manifested two partners who we have now sold to. And so where I'm at right now is I take responsibility for all of it, but I want the business back and I want them gone. And I'm having a hard time letting up that they, that this happened. And I know I did it. And I'm not sure why. Is anything ever done? No. Are you done creating businesses? No. Are you done even creating this business? Because you're speaking, I created a business. It sounds a little past tense. Right. So as we were talking earlier, as things are unfolding, do you think that your desire expands? Absolutely. What was the first realization? Oh, I, we love that word. <laughs> what was the first grid filling in realization that you had that made you decide to sell the business? Um, couldn't work with them. Couldn't call just knew that it wasn't, we couldn't move forward the way I, we wanted to um, with them as partners. You came to the conclusion that they were the obstacle or that they were the problem. Exactly. But there was an obstacle. So when an obstacle presents itself, what else happens to you? When something unwanted shows itself to you, what else happens? For me, it was, I, my vibration just, it was negative. It, it just became but, real negative. But when you know what you don't want, what else happens? Oh, I definitely knew what I want. So, but you're not talking from the framework of knowing what you want. You're talking from the framework of, I definitely knew what I wanted, you said. But what you meant is, I knew so clearly what I did not want. I knew so clearly what I did not want. But we want you to tell us, at that point when that happened, what is it that you did want? I wanted... I wanted the fun, I wanted the experience. The unobstructed, the right. free flowing, yes. because your feet felt like they were stuck in the mud. Yes. So I know what I don't want, speak it briefly. I know what I don't want. But speak what it is, I don't, oh, I don't want. I didn't want the resistance. I didn't want the struggle, the struggle, the not funness. Yes. I didn't want the trauma and the drama and yes. the, so, so now tell us what you did want, what that helped you to identify that you do want. I wanted the fun. I wanted to work with my husband and our other partners. Now, that business, did you purchase a business that was already in existence yes. before? Yes. It was something that someone had already had put into motion. Yes, did beautifully and beautifully. They did. So then you purchased it, and what was the next thing that happened? <laughs> it just went wrong. I mean, it just we couldn't work together. Our ideas of how we wanted to run the business and their ideas... All right, it so just, was it the we only weren't. business for sale on the planet? No. <laughs> so did you find working with these people to be the path of least resistance or a path of great resistance? Great resistance. Now, what is it that you're telling us you want relative to them? I want... I want... More resistance. I want more <laughs> path of more resistance. I want to pick up right where I left off. I want them out because of the I was way. A, I was a free-flowing, good-feeling person, and I saw something that I wanted, and I moved toward it, and it came about, and, and then it went bad. And after it went bad, it went really bad. And so now I just want to get into more of the badness. Is that what you're telling us? Yeah, no. <laughs> This thing I do not want, I'm going to obliterate it. I'm going to push so hard against this thing that I do not want that it will go away, except for one little thing that defies all of the laws of the universe. Because when you are trying to push away what you do not want, so you can't get there from there. So what is it that you want? Hold this business as your model, if you want to, and tell us what it is about it that is calling you, not what it is about it that's making you want to push these people out of the way, because that's vibrationally not even possible. I know. And I think that's probably why, for me, I feel like I did something wrong, because but vibrationally, it, I... This is why we started where we did today. Do you think that from everything that you've heard, can you... We have to word it differently in order to trap you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do it. 
that feeling that I've done wrong, that feeling that I've done something wrong, that's what we're really wanting to help all of you to release. And so the questions that we want to ask is, are you clearer now than you've ever been before? Yes. Do you feel like it was a growing experience yes. for you in terms of what you want? Yes. And if you are the product of your creation, which you are, if you are the product of your creation, which you are, if you are the product of your creation, which you are, did anything valuable happen to you? Did you expand? Yes. And as you stand in this expanded place, do you think you have the ability to know more clearly what you want based on what you don't want? Yes. So trying to set aside the details of that, what comes to mind that you want? Cooperative components. Yes. Fun. Fun. Synergy. Collaboration. Cooperative collaboration. And I want the beautiful place. I mean, I want the, the visually of it was beautiful. And for me to feel like I could recreate that. Um, and I know I can. Bigger. No, you better. don't. Because you just went that way and then you went that way because you saw us I coming don't. after you. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're right. It has to be that place. A man said to us one day, I've lost my empire and I'm this many years old and now I don't know what to do because I can't start over. He couldn't see a path to the recreation. Ooh, we like that word. To the recreation of it. And so we said to him, you are the product. And it doesn't matter how much you think is gone, money, places, business, it doesn't matter because you stand as the culmination of all that you've become and your point of attraction is still intact. But you've got to get out of the way of your, your point. Esther was with family a few months ago in a city far away from here and they were having a meal at a really wonderful place. And Esther was wanting to know about the history of the place. And so because they lived in the area, her family began telling her that it was two men that started a business and they couldn't get along. And so one of them went off and built the business. And this restaurant is much bigger, much better, much better received than where he started. And we know that seems like a simplistic thing because you have all of these arguing for your own limitations that you've been practicing that are active within you. But if you can accept that you are the product of your own creation and that you stand in a much more powerful place than you've ever stood before because of what you've lived. And if you can get around what's happened and stop putting blame on what happened on yourself or on those other people and instead accept that together you parlayed yourself into a stronger point of attraction that is going to yield for you something so much bigger and so much better than any of that could ever have been. If you could get out ahead of the manifestation vibrationally and accept that as you flow these thoughts, these thoughts of excitement and exhilaration and these thoughts of now knowing so much more than you knew before, then what happens? You get out ahead of it and you have this joyful journey as you then watch the components just click, 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 click into place until exactly what you want is revealed to you we started to say handed to you but revealed to you revealed to you in a comfortable way do you believe us when we tell you that you can't get there from here standing where you're standing in other words you did, you, the did, question. You, did you feel the shift taking place yes. and and i want i want to give up for me it's i i'm not somebody who wants someone to fail and where i'm at now it's... there's a bunch of stuff going on but here is what we feel predominantly from you 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 have no idea who you have become as a result of this relationship because we're out ahead of the vibration and we can see who you've become and what's coming next or the potential of what's coming next. We want to have you write a appreciative check to them for the, for the benefit that you've received from the harassment that they have offered that has provoked you into this newfound clarity. And if you could get that the way we get it and the way we know it, then there wouldn't be any of this they've taken something from me or I let them dupe me into it or they just made it so miserable that I walked away from something that I want because while there are components to that that are true you see everything that you're saying in terms of action in terms of what happened in terms of your legitimate reason to feel the way you feel everything that you are saying is right but the vibration is off 
and the vibration is everything. So you're still standing in this contrast, having parlayed something really big, bigger than you know out there. And you're also demonstrating what almost everybody can relate to that. And it's the reason we ask the question that we always do when we begin these gatherings. Are you appreciating the contrast? Because hardly anyone is. <laughs> that, <Not so> much. <laughs> that we want to bring all of them in on the feeling of this as we make this statement is the way almost everyone feels when they have something that they want and can't right now see the path to it. So when we say you got to realize the path before the manifestation and that the realization of the path is really exhilarating and what's bothering you right now is not that what once was yours is not yeah. or what once was yours is not the way you dreamed it to be. What's bothering you is that you're not dreaming your dream anymore. You've taken your sights off your dream so you're not on your path and you put them on what you don't want and you're holding yourself apart from... And, and the, the discomfort is that the energy is calling you but you're not going. The energy is calling you but you're not going. But you could go now. If you could dream a little. I think it probably would be fear of if I go again, is that, you know, the, it's going to happen again. Do I want to go through that again like that? No, we're going to ask you some very profound questions. <laughs> would you like that to happen again? No. <laughs> That's why I'm... Do you think that you're that stupid? <laughs> I didn't think, do think I was this do you, time. Do you, do you think that you have evolved to a new place? Do you yes. think your desire is stronger? And what's the desire that is hatched within you? What's the realization that's out there that was never there before? What do you now know that you didn't know then? How have you changed? What do you now know? I know I can do it. I know that I can do way more than I thought I was capable but of. But what else? That that's I can, for sure. That but I can come out of it okay. Yeah, that's for sure too. But what do you now know? What do you now know? In other words, I knew I wanted to look like that and I knew I wanted to feel like that. But what do you now know? Oh, I do not want partners like that again. <laughs> well, that's what, that's what you know that you don't want. Oh, but what do you know? I, know? I know life is supposed to be fun. I yes. know that my life is supposed to be spent on things that feel good to me. Yes. I know that I want my days to be flowing toward things that feel good. I know that I'm a powerful creator. I know that I have source at my back. I know that the energy that creates worlds flows through my fingertips. I know I have the ability to do whatever I want, but it's not, I don't do this to do it. I didn't do it for the structure. I didn't do it for the business. I did it for the opportunity, for the fun, for the canvas, for something to focus upon, to flow my energy toward. And that's not gone. You've got a bigger canvas than you've ever had before. You have a bigger opportunity than you've ever had before. You have more energy flowing through you than you've ever had before. Nothing has gone wrong here. All that happened is that you had an exercise in clarity. It's like taking a college class. Did you like one of those classes? <laughs> What did most of them tell you? They just gave you an opportunity to focus, but how much of it are you specifically applying that you learned? It's about the expansion that happens within you, you see. Yeah. Yeah. This is the thing that we want you to hear. It's the most profound thing that we could ever say. You've got one foot in one world and one foot in the other. You're just stepping into the world that we know and that we're wanting to introduce you to because that's where all your power is and that's where the leverage is and that's where the fun is. That's where the satisfaction is. That's who you are and that's what you came to live. But you've got one foot in the world, in the business world, and every single thing that you're saying to us is true. It's true. It's true. But saying it messes up your bigger world. Thinking about it messes up your bigger world. And all that stuff that is true, that you want to describe and define to us, parlayed you into a place that you've never been before that now you want to claim. But you can't claim it as long as you're looking back there. You don't want that business. You don't want that back. You don't want any part of that back. You don't want anything that it is back because you've moved so far beyond what it was. And we'll look forward to the conversation as that is being realized. Now, what we just did here, this is what we mean about getting out ahead of the manifestation. Manifestation has to follow. It's a done deal. It's for sure. But you're supposed to feel good about it now, now, now. And don't you?